Welcome back guys. Now in this video, let's discuss about tracheo esophageal fistula. Let me write here tracheo esophageal fistula. So what exactly is this tracheo esophageal fistula? It's a congenital anomaly. We all know what exactly is a fistula. Fistula is an abnormal connection between the two cavities. Between which two cavities here in this condition? Between trachea and the esophagus. So there is an abnormal connection that's present between a trachea and the esophagus. Now, why such abnormality? Why it is happening? It is because, see, normally during intrauterine life, by four weeks, by four weeks of intrauterine life, the tracheoesophageal ridges, see, these are the embryological structures. Let me write here, tracheoesophageal ridges. See this tracheoesophageal ridges, they have to fuse. Okay, when by four weeks of intrauterine life, by four weeks of intrauterine life, they have to actually fuse. Failure of the fusion, okay, whenever they fail to fuse, that will cause tracheoesophageal fistula. So this is the problem. The problem is in the fusion of the tracheoesophageal ridges. Now, what else they will ask you in your exam is the types. There are different types of tracheoesophageal fistula. Here you can see uh, type, different types. Type A, type B, type C, type D and type E. There are four different types. In your exam, what they will ask you is the three important MCQs. Which one is the most common type? The most common type of the tracheoesophageal fistula is the type C. So, type C tracheoesophageal fistula is most common and please appreciate in type C, now, this is the proximal end of the esophagus. This is the esophagus. Okay. And this is the distal end of the esophagus. So, the proximal esophagus have undergone the atresia. But the distal esophagus is the one which is having the fistula. Proximal esophagus, now it's like a stump. There is atresia. There is a block. And the distal esophagus is the one which is having the fistula. Okay. In type C, proximal is blind-ended. And the distal part is having the fistula. Okay. Next, in type A. Okay. Uh, rare variety. 8% of the cases. In type A, look. There is atresia in the proximal segment as well as there is atresia in the distal segment. But are you able to appreciate any fistula, any abnormal connection? No. So there is a no fistula formation in type A tracheoesophageal fistula. In type A, atresia is not there. There is no atresia. Well and good. In type E, 4%. Very, very rare. 4%. Now in this, look, this is the proximal esophagus. Okay, it is having fistula. And this is the distal esophagus. Is there is any atresia? Are you able to find any atresia here in the esophagus? There is no atresia. So type E does not have any atresia. Okay, it's like a H. Okay, it's like a H. Like H, right? This is like a H. I hope you can see. It's like a letter H. So in type E, there is no atresia. It's looking like H. So these are the three important MCQs. Most common type is type C. Where there is a distal tracheoesophageal fistula. Type A, there is no fistula at all. Both proximal esophagus as well as the distal esophagus is having the atresia. And in type E, there is no atresia at all. Okay. Now, concentrate on type B. See, in type B, there is atresia. Proximal as well as distal. Atresia is there. But where the fistula is present, there is a proximal distal uh, pro sorry, proximal tracheoesophageal fistula. Okay. There is proximal tra uh, tracheoesophageal fistula. Same thing, but little modified. That is a type D. Same. Proximal tracheoesophageal fistula, but also look at the distal esophagus. The distal esophagus is also having a fistula with the trachea. Okay, so both the proximal as well as the distal tracheoesophageal fistula is seen in type D. Okay, so atresia is there. Okay, but both the proximal and the distal tracheoesophageal fistula. Okay, so these are the points which I want you to know. Okay, tracheoesophageal fistula. What is the cause? and what are the types and what are the important points. With this, the topic of the tracheoesophageal fistula is completed. In the next video, we will be discussing about the esophageal diverticulum, different types of esophageal diverticulum like Zenkers diverticulum, uh, traction diverticulum, epiphrenic diverticulum that will be discussed in the subsequent video. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you.